Once again, we're going to prove an important geometric theorem called the Remote Interior Angles Theorem. Uh, proving theorems in geometry is very key to success, an important part of the process. Um, as the Common Core Standards state, it's something we all should be doing uh, when we're learning geometry, is making sure we know how to prove these theorems. Uh, I will say that be careful um, and uh, pay close attention to whatever class you're in because uh, each teacher requires a different amount of detail and rigor um, in their proofs. The pr proof we're going to do is of the statement that the measure of an external angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles. Well, just a couple of quick definitions. An exterior angle in a polygon is found by extending one of the sides. So we can say that angle one is exterior to this triangle. The remote interior angles are the two angles that are not next to that angle in a triangle. So two and three are considered remote interior angles to the external angle. And then finally, we are going to need that third angle in the triangle, so we're going to call it four. Now, interestingly, in this, one, this particular problem, we don't really have any given statement. Um, and so we don't, we don't need to even start um, with, with a given statement. Our given is kind of the picture and the names of these angles, but we really don't know anything about them. So we're going to start by um, just saying some things we know about this picture. Um, you know, our goal is eventually to show that angle one, measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two plus measure of angle three. That's what we want to show. So we need to do some things about both, those, both of those two concepts. So what we can do is we can say the measure of angle one um, plus the measure of angle four equals 180 degrees. And we know that because linear pairs sum to 180. Now, your teacher may require you to say that linear pairs are supplementary, then take the step of writing the definition of supplementary as measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 4 equals 180. But we're going to just for time's sake write that down. Our next statement is, oh wow, this is nice. I've got angle 1, I've got it equal to 180, I've got the angle 4 in there. So if I can get angle 2 and 3 also equal to some, you know, in a statement that includes 180, that's going to be really good. Well, I can use what I know about triangles, saying the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 equals 180. And we know that because hopefully you've proven, if not, go check out my video on this, but hopefully you've looked at and proven the, what we refer to as the triangle angle sum theorem. And that just states that the sum of the angles in a triangle sums to 180 degrees. Now this is really good and it's a technique that's a little bit unusual about um, proving things, but normally we're not used to plugging things in for a number, but that's what we're going to do. Both of these things are equal to 180, so I can substitute measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 4 for that 180. And I can make the statement now, the measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4 equals measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 4. And that's valuable to me because it now has the 2 and 3 on one side and the 1 on the other. Very good. Now one note, notice how I keep putting the M in front of the angles. You must do that because when we do algebra like I'm doing here, we only do that on values and angle measures have values whereas angles are objects. And so we're not talking about adding up the angle objects, we're talking about adding up their measures. Okay, the reason we can do that um, is just substitution. Um, you could also say that it's the transitive property of um, equality, but substitution and transitive property of equality are interchangeable. Okay, now hopefully you notice that we can make this claim right here, which is what we wanted to show in the first place, and the reason we can make that claim is because we can subtract four from both, measure angle four from both sides, and that's just the subtraction property of equality. And so now we're ready to, to go um, on this problem because we've got the subtraction property of equality um, allows us to have measure of angle one, which is the external angle, equal to those two remote interior angles. And it didn't matter, you know, this applies for any exterior angle because this was a completely generalized triangle and a generalized proof.